Making an apple pie can feel really intimidating. Today, I'm gonna to show you a version that has all the flavor but none of the work with my easy apple pie dip. Join me inside and let's get started. Let's start this apple pie dip with the crisps, the cinnamon part, the dippy part of, of our dip. So we're gonna take tortillas and we're going to dress them up just a little bit. Now, I highly recommend you find a good, a good tortilla because a lot of these are full of really, really junky ingredients. So make sure you read the ingre ingredient list. We're gonna start out with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. This is about a tablespoon and a half of sugar and about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love roasted Saigon cinnamon. If you can find that, it's made by McCormick. The flavor is the best you're gonna find. So just mix that together and we'll set that to the side. And we're just gonna take a little bit of melted butter I've got some here with my brush and I'm just gonna brush on these tortillas. You can, the oven's ready, you can absolutely use um, any butter you like. This is salted because it's all I keep in my house but it really doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted. All right, so a little butter on there. If you don't have a pastry brush, just use the back of a spoon, anything like that. And then you can just sprinkle on the cinnamon and the sugar. And I'm gonna set that to the side for a minute. It's a lot easier to just butter them all at once and then cut them up than to try to cut them up and cinnamon sugar them then. So just a little. Okay. And this is gonna get really crispy. That sugar's gonna caramelize up in the, in the oven and these are gonna get super crispy. I'm only gonna do about three today. This recipe serves about six people. So you can do three or four tortillas. Um, just kind of plan it based on, you know, will each person eat a whole tortilla? That's only you know your, only new, you know your family and your audience, so you just have to decide that. So we'll put on the rest of this on. And you can go back, like I was a little bit light on some of these, so do just a little more. And then we're just gonna cut these up. So, big handy knife. You can decide how big you want these. I usually just do triangles, like pretend it's a pizza. And I'll kinda come in this way. I'm gonna keep everybody still long enough to get them cut. And then we're just gonna transfer them to a cookie sheet that I've lined with a little bit of parchment paper. It's a good idea to line it so that the sugar as it caramelizes doesn't stick to your, your sheet. And try to get them on in a single layer, if at all possible. I have an extra one stuck under there. Give them a little bit of space to breathe. If they're on top of each other, they will more than likely not get crispy. They'll stay kind of soft. So just try to do that if you can. We're gonna put them in the oven just until they're you know, getting that crispiness to them. About six minutes in a 400 degree oven. You can turn the pan once if necessary if they're not cooking evenly. And they will firm up further as they sit. So if you take them out or you think they're not quite crispy enough, they will be if you give them about four or five minutes out of the oven. So don't wait for them to get too hard. I'm gonna get these in the oven and I'll be back to show you what the next step is. So let's start on the dip portion of this apple pie dip. And we're gonna do that with just some apples. This is about three cups of, I'm actually using Honeycrisp today. I almost always make this recipe with Granny Smith, which are green and tart, and they give you the best contrast of flavor, but the store didn't have any. So we're gonna use what we've got on hand. So in go three cups of apples, and they've been just cubed up. You wanna keep it bite-sized because you want people to be able to actually dip this and eat it off of you know the crisp. So if it's huge, it's gonna be a little tough. So in there are those three cups of apples and the juice of half of a lemon. Give it a good squeeze. That's gonna kind of balance some of the sweetness. You wanna make sure you use that. Then we're gonna do three tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. Again, I'm using that roasted Saigon cinnamon because it has such fabulous flavor. If your spices are old, they are not gonna give off the proper flavor. So make sure that they're fresh enough for your recipes. So we're just gonna give that a little toss, get everything stirred together. And the last thing we're gonna put in here, this is a teaspoon of cornstarch and a teaspoon of water. This is gonna be our thickener. It's not very much and doesn't have to be very much. Just put that in 
Always mix your cornstarch with cold water before you start your recipe. Cornstarch does not like hot liquids. It'll clump up on you and be miserable. So always dissolve it first. I'm going to bring this to a simmer and I'm going to cook these apples until they're soft and syrupy. About six or eight minutes on medium heat and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Can you see me through the steam? I'm here. All right, we're going to go ahead and plate this up. The apples just need to get tender. You, you can cook it until it's like really, really soft if you want to, but mine have just, just gently softened. So I'm going to put them in a bowl if I can do it carefully. And I want to show you the chips. So if you want to come over here, I'm going to have you look at these. They were only in the oven about five minutes or so, and they are just like I want them, a little golden brown on the bottom, and as they continue to cool, they're gonna get even more firm. So you can see that they're just right, be just right for dipping. So let's get some out. Okay. Now, let's see if I can do this. You can see that there's plenty of sauce in the bottom, and it, as that cools, I might need an oven mitt for this. Let's see, no, I can do this. As that cools off, it's gonna turn into the most silky coating sauce. And you'll say, I wish I had twice as much of this. For an apple recipe that's just as delicious but gives you a little more challenge, try my apple dumpling recipe you can find right here, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.